It's funny how politicians want me to talk about abuse of power. What I know about abuse of power comes from childhood and adulthood. Abuse of power for me in childhood was a man out of control, using his power, his physicality, and his level of violence against me and people I loved. Abuse of power in adulthood is a little different because men like to play one-upsmanship with other men all the time. A marvelous man might be a really marvelous guy until he sees someone's wife or girlfriend, and then he forgets that he's married and then he wants one. And the problem with that is it's an abuse of power because he made a choice. He made a marriage bed and he did his thing, but then he wants to do your girl instead and that's not okay. The liar in a politician is like that. He's always soliciting for information, but he doesn't want to pay for it. And there are people that are like that. I might have given a hundred tips to someone by now in the Democratic Party, but their people are liars, and they take them as if they're their own, and openly the guy who gave them never gets a thing. Doesn't get paid, doesn't get hired, doesn't get anything. And then they might fess up and say, okay, this is really where this came from, but then that person who did that starts to feel threatened. And people are so behind the times in terms of teamwork today, we don't have enough softball teams, enough baseball teams, enough soccer teams, enough volleyball teams in our schools so that everybody can play. And so as a result, you've got those who have the power of being in front of people and the have-nots who are sitting in the stands, hopefully, rooting people on. But the truth is about money high schools today is some of them are way too large for anybody and everybody to play and anybody and everybody to have a chance and even the smallest of men might like to be a football star somewhere. So maybe there should be junior varsity and then super junior varsity for the miniature guys who want to play football but can't handle going up against the seven foot guys. But I don't know. But what I always felt about my high school days is it was a marvelous life. That there were people who were in different parts of their life experiencing different groups and societies and cultures based on their thing. But the reality is, as an adult, you can pick and choose most of your life, but who you pick for a life partner changes your life. I mean, let's face it, when I went to Japan, I didn't anticipate that I'd stay as long as I did, and I certainly didn't anticipate some of the challenges that I did, but I also didn't experience and didn't anticipate some of the joys and benefits that I had. And openly, I came home with some of the biggest souvenirs I ever got, which was, of course, my late spouse and late son. But the reality is, is that many people cared for me while I was there, and many people gifted me things that are really rare. But when I find out that someone has stolen those things and sold those things out from underneath me without ever telling me, and there are people from law enforcement, it really pisses me off. I had a privilege of those items. And the things that I collected, a very small collection of antiques and other things belonged to me. But some policemen wanted to go into my storage unit and then decided to go in without me and started pilfering from me. And that makes me so fucking mad. Just like when I came back from the jail sentence that was shoved upon me. All the policemen were just thrilled about that experience for me because that allowed them to say, look, this guy's a failure. I wasn't a failure. You fucked me in the loss. You ruined my life. You intensely did those things. And openly, that wasn't fair. I shouldn't have been there. But some judge would decide to screw me over then you interfered with my ability to satisfy something, so you kept me there, but you locked me in there. And then you took all my property bags and never gave one fucking thing back. So why the hell would I ever trust a lawman ever again? Why would I ever trust a female officer ever again who played in my food, pissed on my life, and thought she was just having a gay old time tying my beard in a knot? But here's the deal. Are you prosecuting them for their sexual assault, their sexual harassment, their inappropriate conduct? The removal of privacy rights, medical rights? No, you're probably not, unless of course someone's done that, but nobody's told me about that. But still, my life goods, my property possessions, didn't belong to my siblings and doesn't belong to the sheriff of Hamilton County. So give me a break if I don't like police officers today. Every fucking one of you wants to lie to me in every way, and I don't know you at a fucking at all. I don't know one thing about you except you somehow have information about me. Why is that? I'm a private citizen starting over in life. But you ruined my opportunities here. You piss all over me with your pilfering friends, and you've been screwing me out of my beard. Shame on you. Shame on you for what you do.